Hello and welcome to the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation staff's virtual club presentation. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in and wish we were in person safely to deliver this content to you to hopefully help you learn some more about the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation. But given the current circumstances with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, we didn't want to miss the opportunity to share some information with you in this presentation. We hope you'll find it informative and look forward to kicking it off now. So for those of you that aren't familiar, the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation office is based in Louisville, Kentucky, but we are a statewide organization and our mission is to provide vision services through education, detection, prevention, treatment, and empowerment. Through collaborative and par partnerships, we enable greater independence and increase quality of life for all Kentuckians while focusing on children and adults in financial need. Also, we have a motto, vision, and core values that guide our work. So our motto is your vision is our mission. And our vision is by building a better tomorrow, we are bringing individuals into a world of sight, independence, and accomplishment. We always keep in mind our core values to guide our efforts in pursuing our mission and vision services. Uh, we value and strive for greater integrity, respect, stewardship, leadership, diversity, collaboration, and effectiveness. And we are a staff of three individuals. Um, so obviously we rely heavily on many of you watching this presentation. We really appreciate your continued commitment and dedication to help make our work possible as we work to achieve our mission. Um, we wanted to introduce ourselves. I'm proud to be our executive director. And um, you see contact information here for our staff. Feel free to reach us in any of these ways. We are currently working remotely, but we do check office voicemail as well. So we'll be able to connect with you um, in whatever way is easiest for you. I'm Karen Hayes, we're proud to have as our state kids site coordinator, and Jennifer Hunt Sperling is a wonderful member of our team as well as our communications coordinator. So we appreciate the opportunity to share this information with you today. Without further ado, I'll turn it over to Jennifer to begin walking you through some of the KLAF history. All right, thanks, Lindy. So in 1954, KLAF was incorporated and the first Mr. Kentucky basketball was announced, which was Vernon Hatton. 1958, the Lions of Kentucky adopted the foundation as their state project. In 1976, Donna Murphy was named as the first Miss Kentucky basketball. And then fast forward to 2002, our vision van was put on the road. In 2004, our kids site program was launched. And in, sorry, 2011, our KidSite program was able to purchase our first spot camera. And in 2012, the KLAF hosted our first annual Mr. and Miss Kentucky Basketball Award Ceremony. So in 2014, we celebrated our 60 years of saving sight. And then in 2015, we were able to partner with the Kentucky Head Start Association and our KidSite program uh, received a grant to purchase 25 spot vision screeners, which helped to increase our vision screenings by over 20,000 children uh, throughout Kentucky. Also in 2015, we hosted our first annual Drive for Sight Golf Scramble. In 2017, the University of Louisville Lions Eye Bank and the Lexington Lions Eye Bank merged and formed a new and separate organization from the foundation called the Kentucky Lions Eye Bank. So previous to this, the University of Louisville Lions Eye Bank was a program of KLEF, but since those two eye banks have merged, they are a separate organization. In 2019, KLEF adopted our new mission, vision, motto, and core values. The KLEF bylaws were revised and our new executive director, Lindy Lampkin, was hired. Also in 2019, we celebrated 65 years of service. So and then came 2020 and we had a lot of big plans for the year because 2020 and its relevance to vision. We started our state tour in early 2020 and we introduced our 2020 club. And then in March, COVID-19 kind of shut things down just a little bit and instead of having our in-person Mr. and Miss Basketball Award Ceremony as we had planned, we had our first ever virtual event in June of 2020. Later that year, KLAF received a $75,000 grant from the Louisville Downtown Lions Club to help fund the purchase of a new vision van, which we're excited to get on the road later in 2021. 
We also launched a few um, virtual events, including our Ask the Expert interview series, as well as trivia nights, which we both host on our Facebook page. Um, in 2020, several Kentucky Lions clubs celebrated their 100th anniversary. So congratulations to the Paducah, Louisville Downtown, Owensboro, Mayfield, and Lexington Lions Club. Thank you for all that you've done for the past 100 years. So throughout 2020, for much of the year, KLEF staff worked remotely and we held our trustee meetings remotely due to the COVID-19 pandemic, just to ensure everyone's safety. So we are hopeful that 2021 and beyond bring great things. And for now, I'm going to have Karen come on and talk about a few of our service programs. Karen, we still, is there a way to unmute on your computer? Can Try you un un unmuting un on your computer. Can you hear me on my cell phone? Yes. Yes, yeah, so for, for some reason it has to be unmuted on your computer. Okay, so if you want to guide us through the holler and fun. Shelby County and Spencer County in Kentucky and three counties in Indiana, Clark, Floyd, and Harrison. There's a committee of Lions Club members that meet once a month, once every other month, to go over the applications that we have received. Um, the Holleran will, committee will approve the, the purchases that we uh, they have requested and we also refer them to um, low vision uh, occupational therapist that goes and meets with them to make sure that they're getting the right tools that they need to sustain their daily life. The next program <clears throat> is the KidSite program. And um, as Jennifer said earlier, it started in 2004. We used a, back then we used about a 40 pound photo screener that used um, Polaroid film. We've come a long way since then. When we purchased our first kid site spot camera, and um, we we thought we had really hit it big, I guess you would say, and our numbers went up drastically because we didn't have to depend on someone else to read the pictures. Um, as you can see on our um, graph, we have screened over 208,800 kids since the program come into inception. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. Apologize. Um, we have several Lions Clubs throughout the state. Due to the pandemic, our uh, screenings for 2019 and 2020 have slowed down, but uh, we hope that uh, later on in 2021, we can start back up um, due to the COVID guidelines. All right, so our patron program was created to help Kentuckians with no insurance or limited insurance maintain um, eye surgeries or procedures that they needed. So when KLEF receives an application, the information is sent to our patron committee to review and vote on the approval. So the patron program is funded by donations that are made directly to the patron program and interest earnings from the patron fund are used annually to provide financial assistance for these surgeries and procedures. Uh, so the patron program recognition levels are noted as a life patron, a silver patron, or gold patron. Life patron being a $100 donation, gets you put in as a member of 
or as a life patron. Silver patron is a $500 donation and a gold patron is a $1,000 donation. So this is just a quick example of someone who received surgery assistance. This is Kay from Hazard, Kentucky. She was uh, just involved in an accident and her iris, which is the colored portion of your eye, um, was ruptured and she needed a new one. This particular thing was new and not covered by insurance at the time, so she applied to us and we were fortunately able to help her. So in the photo here, you can kind of see a bit of a difference um, and she is now seeing back to normal. So we've talked about our vision van program, how the vision van was purchased back in 2002 and we have a new uh, grant for a new vision van, which we hope to get on the road in 2021. We take this van to health fairs and different screening events throughout the state. So the vision van houses the screening equipment, which is removed from the van and is required to be used in, in an indoor environment. Um, the vision van is ran by volunteers who have been trained to use the equipment and companies and organizations um, or Lions clubs or different groups can request the vision van come to their facility and it will be filled based on our volunteer availability. So as you can see, these are our vision van numbers throughout the years. You'll notice a bit of a spike in 2014. That kind of ties in with our purchase of the spot vision screeners. We've started using those devices as a part of our vision van equipment as well. And that helps us screen even more people. So you see how those numbers have really jumped since then. We've screened over 188,000 people since 2002. So because of the pandemic, our vision van numbers are pretty low this year. We've actually only been able to do one screening at this point. Um, that was at Churchill Downs at one of their screenings. Uh, but we do have some of our spot vision screener devices available at a few health clinics in the area to help provide screenings to children ages seven and up. And those numbers go into our vision band numbers. So hopefully with um, changes, we will be able to conduct more vision screenings soon and looking forward to seeing everyone out there. So I'll turn it over to Karen to talk about one of our biggest screening events here as it's coming up hopefully in 2021. Our annual, uh, largest annual screening that we do is at the Kentucky State Fair, which is usually in August. Um, this coming 2021, it'll be August the 19th through the 29th. Unfortunately, 2020 State Fair was canceled, so we miss seeing all of our Lions, and we hope to see you all in 2021. Please mark the calendar. All right, thank you, Karen. I'm going to go into some of our annual events, including our fundraisers. Uh, the first one coming up this year is our Mr. and Miss Kentucky Basketball Award Ceremony. We mentioned earlier that last year we had our first virtual event. Uh, this year we do plan to host another virtual event. And we do have sponsorships available now. So if you're interested or know anyone who might be interested, please put us in touch with them. We will gladly send them a sponsorship packet. Um, we will have virtual event tickets soon and that information will be coming out just as soon as we can get it out to you all. One last thing that we're looking for for the Mr. and Miss is just auction items. If you or your club would like to donate any auction items, please contact Karen. So each year KLAF participates in usually three online giving days. The first of those days is in May. It's the Kentucky Gives Day. It's hosted by the Kentucky Nonprofit Network. Uh, so we know that this will be in May, but KNN has not announced the exact date yet. We do thank everyone who helped us raise over $12,000 last year on this Kentucky Giving Day. So the second of those online giving days is in September. It's Give for Good Louisville. This is just a day for nonprofits who are based in the Louisville area. You do not have to live in Louisville to donate. We will accept 
support from all over the world on this day. Um, it will be September 17th, 2021. And again, thank you to anyone who helped us raise over $6,500 in 2020 for Give for Good Louisville. In the fall, this is one of our fun fundraisers that we do. We have our seventh annual Drive for Sight Golf Scramble coming up. The location and date will be announced soon. So once again, thank you to all of the clubs and members and anyone who participated in our 2020 event, which raised nearly $13,000. So we look forward to seeing you all at next year's event. And now I'm going to turn it back over to Karen. She's going to talk a little bit about how you and your club members can help support KLEF. Karen, we'll have to unmute one more time. There we go. Started by the Past District Governors Association, the Candy Day program is done with, through the lands of Kentucky and their individual clubs. Lots of them have uh, mints that they will set out at stores, funeral homes. Um, they will stand on the corner at um, Kroger and Walmart, and they will take donations for those candies. And then they will split the and they will send a portion of it to the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation. And then the clubs will put in their charity account to be able to help themselves throughout the year with some of their special events that they need help with as far as their eyeglass program. Another way that you can help the Kentucky, um, support the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation is through our Finest Davis program. The Finest Davis Fellowship created to honor the Kentucky's first and only president of Lions Club International. He was a uh, past international president, Finus Davis. He was also a member of the Kentucky, or the Louisville Downtown Lions Club. He was um, the president of the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation in 1967 to 68. He spearheaded a drive to raise money for the building of the Kentucky Lions Eye Research Program, which is now a world-class center that is dedicated to <coughs> which is now a world-class center and dedicated his life to Lionism. As far as um, how the clubs can help, if you have a volunteer or a lion that you would like to donate a, um, a finest name, a finest Davis, <coughs> you can, um, the finest Davis is $500 for the first initial uh, payment. And what you would uh, receive is you would receive a plaque for the, the lion or the volunteer. You would get a pen, a patch, and a coin. You can also go to a Finest Davis Fellowship. <coughs> I apologize. And um, that, that's a great way to honor someone with the Finest Davis or a Finest Davis Progressive uh, Fellowship. You can download the application from the uh, Kentucky Lions Eye website, or you can call me at my contact information and I will be glad to send it to you via email. Um, then you would fill the application out with the uh, individual that's going to receive the award and we would order the plaque and get it to you prior to your um, you're giving it to that individual. Um, you can pay for it over the website through the KLEF but just remember there is a three percent credit card charge. All right, thank you, Karen. Um, some additional ways that you and your club can help support the work of the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation. Many of you already take advantage of the opportunity to make contributions to our nonprofit organization in memory or honor of someone special in your life, and we greatly appreciate that. Many clubs have made memorial and honorary gifts, and many individuals as well. Um, these contributions received by KLEF go directly to fund our programs and help make our work possible. You can send via a check in the mail to our office or you can make a donation through our online secure website. And we are happy to notify the family of the individual of the gift being made either in the person's memory or in their honor. Um, it's always a nice uh, you know, to receive acknowledgement of that gift um, when it's someone, maybe you've lost a loved one or to know that someone thought of you and, and wanted to honor your work. So an ongoing opportunity. Um, many people also like to give additional memorial gifts on the anniversary of their loved one passing just to help keep their memory alive and, 
maybe or to help celebrate their birthday. So thank you for supporting our organization this way. And we look forward to having our programs and work be supported in the future by your gifts as well. Also, uh, it's never too early to plan ahead about leaving uh, a planned gift to an organization that's important to you. Um, we'd be grateful for the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation to be one of those um, organizations. As you think about making a lasting difference in the lives of many people through vision-related programs, your contribution to KLEF can help make those possible for years to come. Um, you can consider making a bequest and naming KLEF as a beneficiary um, of the life insurance policy or a retirement account. You can establish a named endowment fund. Um, funding a charitable remainder trust. There are lots of options, lots of opportunities. We're happy to provide information if you um, would like to learn more about plan giving or if you have a financial advisor or someone else who helps you um, make decisions uh, of this sort, certainly contact them because they can provide great information. It's oftentimes there's some different laws and changes, so um, staying up to date can be tough, but we're happy to be a resource or someone that you already know. But again, we appreciate you considering a gift um, in your will or your trust or any other plan gift that allows you to make a contribution to help KLEF build a better tomorrow for individuals through our vision related programs while leaving your lasting legacy for years to come. Jennifer mentioned earlier that in 2020, uh, we really unveiled and announced our 2020 club and at that time had no idea how important um, this would be for our organization through the COVID-19 pandemic. We um, created this club uh, in, in conjunction with the 2020 calendar year, like the, the vision term 2020 being synonymous with vision. Um, we wanted to ensure the long-term success of the foundation in another way by inviting individuals to become friends of the foundation by joining our 2020 club. Um, and to join, you simply set up your $20 monthly tax deductible donations to KLEF. They help fund our programs. Um, you can set it up using a credit or debit card on our um, website, or you can call us over the phone. We're happy to set that up for you as well, and then it will automatically um, take those recurring payments on the same day of each month. Uh, or you can also set up an ACH out of a checking account, or some of our club members have opt opted to pay for a, a certain duration of their membership, perhaps a year or two years um, in advance with cash or check. So we really try to make it as approachable as possible, whatever method you're most comfortable with. But this just helps us have um, funding coming in on a regular basis to help support our programs, especially when times may be uncertain. Um, and when you join the club, you receive a token of our gratitude to welcome you. We do have a special pin that we've created and we've presented a few of those and hope to be able to safely present others to our current 2020 club members. And we hope you might be the next one on our list. You can find all of our current 2020 club members on our website and your name can be added there as well. Um, so we appreciate everyone who's joined so far and appreciate your consideration of becoming a friend of the foundation by joining the 2020 club with your monthly recurring gifts. Also, uh, a great program that many of you probably have heard about, but if you haven't, uh, the Kroger uh, Company supports organizations like the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation through their Community Rewards Program. It's simple to set up your giving. It doesn't cost you an extra penny, but you go online and register your Kroger card and then just choose the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation. We've designated our funds received through this program to go for our Kids Site program. Um, so you're helping make that important program possible to screen children six months through six years old through your Kroger purchases. So each time you shop at Kroger, um, relative to the other people who shop and what organizations they've chosen, Kroger disperses funds each quarter. Um, and we get several hundred dollars a year, over a thousand dollars. And so we appreciate each of you who help make that possible and know each time that you're shopping for groceries and goodies, you're helping support our vision services. So if you have any questions about setting that up, please don't hesitate to reach out. Similarly, uh, and many of you likely shop on Amazon and Amazon has a way of charitable giving that's a little bit different. Um, they have their Amazon Smile program. Basically, again, the concept of you shopping not costing you an extra penny and then some uh, portion of the funds coming to KLEF. Um, if you go to smile.amazon.com or you can use the Amazon app, sign in with your Amazon information and select Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation as your chosen charity. They will automatically disperse to us half a percent of all of your purchases and we get that automatically to, uh, you know, in, into our checking account on a regular basis and it helps fund our programs and our mission. So um, through the app, through the smile.amazon.com website, all of your purchases can help make a better tomorrow for individuals with our vision services. So we appreciate those of you that shop on Amazon and support us and invite others to, to join that program and help us make our work possible. Another program that KLEF is proud to be part of, um, the Bluegrass Hospitality Group is a, a a joint company that owns many different concepts of restaurants. You see all the logos and names on the screen. Um, Drake's has several locations in Louisville and Lexington. There's many 
uh, the other concepts in Lexington and other areas of Kentucky, even beyond Kentucky in Tennessee, Alabama, and other areas. You can find all their locations on their website, but if you're ever looking for a, a nice gift card that can be used at multiple places, if there's someone hard to shop for a birthday or Christmas on your list, um, you can visit givebhg.com and choose the amount of your gift card, select the Kentucky Lions Eye Foundation as your chosen charity, and they will give us 20% of your gift card purchase as a donation, and they will mail the gift card directly to you or to the recipient. So if you purchase a $100 gift card, KLEF gets $20. It's one of the most generous programs we've come across, and we're really excited to be part of that and invite you to support our work through your gift to someone who can choose where they use their gift card. Also, as we mentioned earlier, it wouldn't be possible to do the work that we do across the state of Kentucky and beyond with just the three of us. So we appreciate all of you who volunteer your time and your resources and do so much to help make our work possible. You see some pictures on the screen of volunteers in action helping make our work possible. We always have additional volunteer opportunities. We try to share those through our monthly newsletter on our social media and sometimes directly asking each of you. But if you're ever looking to get involved and want to volunteer more time, please reach out. I promise we can put you to good work. Something else we're excited for coming up, uh, you may have seen information about our Cooking for the Cause cookbook. Our staff is now collecting recipes to compile a cookbook called Cooking for the Cause, which we'll release later this year in 2021. To submit a recipe or multiple recipes from your favorite collection, um, go online to our website or you can email them directly to Jennifer Hunt and we will compile them into a cookbook that we'll release and um, we hope it'll be a great success and you can find some new favorite recipes. We do have a contest going on right now between now and February 5th at noon on East, Eastern Time. Uh, for every recipe that you submit to KLEF, you will get one entry to win a free copy of the cookbook when it is released later in 2021. So if you have 10 great recipes that you think would be nice additions, submit those. You'll have 10 entries to win your own free cookbook. Um, so between now and February 5th, but we'll be collecting recipes even beyond that as well. So stay tuned for more information about how you and your club can help support this initiative to help raise funds for our programs. Um, we'll be having some program ads available to appear in the cookbook if you'd like to um, you know, memorialize someone or, or make an ad to promote your club and the fact that you're, you're um, always looking for new members. It's just a way to connect with people who will purchase and use that cookbook for years to come. So more information to come on that and thank you to those who have submitted thus far and good luck um, submitting your, your recipes to get your entries. And you may uh, be asking how you can donate. We've mentioned several ways, but just a reminder that you can always mail um, your, your checks or your contributions to our office. Even though we are working remotely, we regularly check the mail there um, at 301 East Muhammad Ali Boulevard in Louisville. Or you can always, anytime, any day, donate online through our secure website, kylionsi.org. You can click donate in the top but, uh, corner there and you know, you'll be able to process your payment and we will be able to see any comments or notes that you make. So if you want to note that it's in memory of someone, um, there is a field to, to do that. But there are sub pages on our website as well that have their own special um, donation or payment links. For example, um, our Valentine's Day flower fundraiser coming up. So we do have a separate video that walks you through our website in detail. So I encourage you to tune into that uh, separately to learn a little bit more about the resources available on our online on our website. But if there's ever anything that you're not sure where to find it or you, you need information, um, feel free to reach out to any of us. We're always happy to help. You can keep up with us through our website. There, Like I said, lots of resources there. If you don't already like our Facebook page, I invite you to do so. We post regularly with lots of different topics, fun things, the Ask the Expert series, the Trivia Nights. Um, so like KY Lions Eye on Facebook and stay up to date. Or if you're not already signed up to receive our monthly newsletters, we send those out each month and you can um, sign up on the website. It'll pop up when you visit the site and you can enter your email address or you can email Jennifer Hunt and she'll add you to our list. Uh, we try to keep everything in that monthly newsletter that's relevant and upcoming so that you're well aware and um, stay tuned for the next one to come soon. So we always wanna make ourselves uh, accessible. So you can always call us at our office number. We are checking those uh, voicemails regularly. Um, you can also find our cell phone numbers on our website. They were indicated earlier in this presentation as well. You can email us at our personal emails or through the info at kylionsi.org if you're not sure who's the best contact. Um, you can visit us maybe in safer times uh, or fax us. And anytime you have questions, um, here's our contact information again, emails and cell phones while we continue to work remotely. 
we're just truly grateful for you, each of you and the work that you do to help make our work possible. We love working with you. We hope to see you. When uh, times are a little bit better, we hope you're all doing well. Um, keep us posted on what your club's up to and how we can help. We'd love to promote the work that you're doing in your communities. Thank you for viewing this virtual presentation, for your continued support, and for helping hopefully make 2021 what will be a much brighter year, although we did have great success in 2020. We hope 2021 will be even better, and we look forward to each of you helping make that possible. So stay well, take care, and we'll see you next time.